Hey everyone, it's been quite some time since I posted a video, so I thought I'd throw together a little update about what has been happening in the Next config and share a new repo that might be beneficial to you, particularly in secrets. So let's hop into it. First of all, if you've been following the Next config repo on my GitHub, you'll notice that there are some changes related to a new module that we created called host spec. This changed the Next config structure quite substantially, but it adds a lot of modularity for configuring hosts. It also differentiates between NixOS and Darwin hosts. I'm going to put out a dedicated video for this. It will also be brief, but there will be a referenced article for those who want to learn more. As a part of that, we've also revamped the NixOS installer substantially. The first version was quite brittle and had quite a few problems that we didn't foresee in the first tests. We've refactored it thoroughly, added some quality of life features, and it's working with several tests now without issue. The changes happen to occur at the same time as some Nix secrets refactoring, and basically that changed my Nix config and Nix secrets from using a single secrets file to shared and host specific secrets. And that leads me to the next part of this video. I've created a Nix secrets reference repository that mimics what the old and new version of my Nix secrets actually looks like. There are some unencrypted secrets files there that give you an idea of what the structure might look like if you're opening those secrets files in SOBS. Now in here, there are two branches. The simple branch is an example that roughly matches the original managing secrets on NixOS video that I put out previously and the old version of my Nix config. This uses a single secrets file for everything in the Nix config, regardless of which host there is. You can also look at the complex branch, which is an example of the current structure now. There are shared secrets that are shared across multiple hosts, and then there are secrets that are host specific. Now, if you're comfortable enough navigating through the config to figure it out, you should be able to see how those structures are applied to the next config now. Both approaches are valid, but the simple version just doesn't work with the current Nix config any longer. So I thought I'd put this example repo out there for easy reference, depending on where you're at. If you've been following my Nix config for a while and have your own version or adaptation of it, these changes might not negatively affect you. Maybe they do. However, the Nix config that I've got now is a lot more complex than when I started out. So in the fairly near future, I'm going to also be creating a Nix config starter repo that is basically gonna be a stripped down and simplified version of primarily for people who are just discovering the channel, haven't been following for a long time with the changes in the repo, or just don't really know where to start. Once that happens, I'll also put out a separate video. So that's it for this one. I do have some plans that I'm excited to talk about, but it's a little bit too early. If I talk about it now, I probably just won't get it done. So I'll share more about that when I can. Thank you so much to everybody who supports the channel, your comments, your questions and encouragement, all very appreciated. Thanks so much. See you in the next one. And remember, the way out is through.